Martin, 5 0. What an afternoon. Played some brilliant football there. Would you make it? I thought. Uh from the very from the very first whistle to the very last whistle, complete domination, completely in control, um, passing the ball about all over the park, totally unpredictable, good players across all areas of the park, uh, just a really, really emphatic, convincing victory. Mm. And you don't often do that when you come up here. You know, more often than not, you come up here, we're talking about the pitch afterwards, and you're saying, oh, it's, it's a tough gig. Yeah. We we're not talking about that today, because it was five got on, more than five, and uh, just, you know, got that early goal, Camden the nerve, second goal, 3 0 half time, the game's over, hmm. and uh, came out in the second half and just kept it going. You know, didn't relax on the 3 0, went out yeah. for another couple of goals, and some spectacular goals too. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen the same team selection as last week. That consistency in the lineup, something we didn't have at the start of last season. And you can see the benefit that even the subs coming on, we've talked about the competition for places already this season. Five different scorers today, created so many chances, and it sounds a bit ridiculous, but we could have had more because we created so much. Uh, we could, you feel you look at the bench, you feel a bit sorry for some of those guys not getting a start, but yeah, starting eleven is really, really strong. We've just got to get a bit of luck this year with, with, with avoiding injuries. You know, I'm hoping Jens is that there's nothing to his injury, he's just been off as a precaution because that's the only thing that can stop us continuing to be that good. Certainly domestically, you know, we are very, very good and ten goals in the first three games, only lost a single goal, I think. Yeah. Um so we've started really, really strongly, which we predicted we would because there's a bit of continuity in that team, you know, one or two uh, new faces come in but generally it's the same team as last year we just didn't see them consistently last year and this year we we'll hopefully we will so if we can avoid injuries I'm really, really excited about we can, be, we can be doing that most weeks Was he make against today? I thought he looked comfortable on the ball again takes it really well for a centre half you can tell he's a good football player great improvisation for the goal I mean when was the last time you've seen a centre half score an overhead kick? I mean they got <laughs> to start with the goal I mean the goal was never an overhead kick in a million years was it? <laughs> most players have just allowed that to bounce and controlled it and done something different you know we tried to swivel around and half volley but no, he decides to go for overhead kick. I had a, I had a good view at the seat I was sitting in today, and uh, oh, it was brilliant. I, I think he actually looked a bit short when he scored it. Um, but I love him, and every time you see a good defender, you, you talk about like say Van Dyke. Mm. But he's Van Dyke in so much as it feels like he's got another another gear in him. Mm. He's just so composed, so relaxed, so comfortable on the ball. Mobile as well, isn't he? He's mobile. He's got a range of passing. He doesn't panic, which again, that's a Van Dyke comparison because mm. he never panics either. He was always composed and almost felt like too relaxed a little bit. Good in there. He's going to get us goals, you know, he's got everything. Yeah. And then we're talking earlier about the, the bench, you feel a little bit sorry for Starfield because he was getting criticised a little bit in the early part of his career, but then him and uh, him and Carter Vickers, you know, what a partnership that yeah. was last year. Yeah. They went a prolonged period of time without getting beat. Yeah. But, you know, Jens has come in and it's his, it's his jersey now. Yeah, Starfield comes on, though, Jens goes off. He gets his first goal for Celtic, that'll do his confidence for the good. Two centre-halves in the score sheet. Also two centre-forwards in the score sheet. A lot of debate about who should start. A lot of people prefer Yakimakis. The other half prefer Kyogo. But great to see the two of them on the score sheet today and you can see again the different qualities. Kyogo's goal that breaks the deadlock is just typical. That's that's the kind of that's the kind of build up you need when Kyogo's playing. A ball in the channel for Greg Taylor, who I thought was excellent today. Square, uh, low cross for Kyogo to finish it. And then Yakimakis won all overhead kick showing his quality as well. I thought the uh, I mean the striker debates are an interesting one because they are completely different types of players. Yakimakis, the fans have really fallen in love with him. Kyogo's fans favourite. I think Kyogo will go some games without doing, you know, huffing and puffing. He's not got that physicality, he's got the energy levels, mm. but you know, there'll be games where he'll, he'll lose the 50-50s today. You know, he's just pick, picking other players up and turning into their physio, and he's just, he's, he's some boy, so he is. But uh, I took the goal well. I, I did think there was a chance for me either just to be selfish and, mm. and, and take the shot, but he didn't. He squared it across and, and he got his goal. And I think he'll keep doing it, he'll keep nicking goals, but he brings so much more. His movement's incredible. Yeah. A wee boy was sitting beside me today and he spent the whole first half saying, you know, Kyogo watching and watching how he goes close to defenders and pulls away and yeah. defenders not sure whether he's marking him or somebody else is marking him. So he, does, he brings a lot of that stuff that if you don't get your goal, you don't get an assist that goes unnoticed. Yeah. Jackie Marcus just brings that physicality um, and directness, you know, and he's got a lot of goals in, in him as well. So kind of hopeful that they both get, you know, broadly speaking, to play in most games, you yeah. know, maybe even a, b a bit more than 30 minutes sometimes for, for the big man. Yeah. And sometimes Gogol need rested. I do always worry with Kyogo that he's injury prone. You know, every time he goes down, I think, oh, he's injured. Uh, because, because he because he just he throws himself into tackles mm. and he's not he's not got that physicality. So um, I don't want any injuries, but I'd like to see them both get, you know, quite a bit of, quite yeah. a bit of game time. I think one, still one game a week just now. I think once we start Europe, they're going to see a lot of switching between both of them. In the second half, I thought the first 15 minutes were a wee bit of a lull, maybe subconsciously natural, being 3-0 up. Subs come on, though. I thought Moy kind of helped calm us down and control it a wee bit. Um, Abada was good when he came on. 
and we get the two extra goals and we could have had so many more. Just brilliant to see that, as I say, the competition. But the guys coming off the bench, are, are they've got a point to prove. Ah, and you could argue the guys came off and proved the team. Well, you know, that's not been the case in the last few years. I've eh? been thinking, gee whiz, the subs have added zero. Mm. Today, definitely they bought a bit of freshness, something a little bit different, a bit of energy, um, but loads of technical ability as well in the subs. So uh, when they came on, I thought, right, we'll, we'll, we'll up, we'll up a, a gear, and we did. We did up a gear, and as you see, it could have been a lot more than five. Kamarnik didn't really offer anything. They did look like the team that's just come up from the from the lower division. Um, I mean, they had, a lot, they had a lot of big, tall, physical players, and I think that was our game plan, just to try and suppress us with our physicality, but it didn't, it didn't work. We were too, too quick. Um, as I said earlier, too unpredictable. The ball was getting sprayed about here, there and everywhere, and everybody's comfortable on the ball now. There's nobody trying to get rid of it. There's nobody can say that's a weak link uh, in, that, in that starting 11 now. Yeah. Talking about the starting 11, we mentioned it was the same as last week. How many players away from the team that will start the first Champions League game do you think that is? Hattati's obviously out. And then maybe a decision between Jens and Starfelt, but it's, it's there or thereabouts, isn't it? I think it's only the tie. I think, I think Jens will get that space now. I think the fans have fallen in love with him almost immediately, and there's still some that doubt Starfelt. When Starfelt came on, there was a tackle where if he'd gone for it, he probably would have given away a penalty, and you could see him holding back thinking, I can't make those mistakes now because those are the mistakes that get yeah. remembered. So um, it's, it's, it's put a little bit of pressure on Starfelt. Jens, I think, guaranteed guaranteed that position. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Hitati. I would have Hitati and ahead of probably ahead of Turnbull. Turnbull. Turnbull today was okay, his shooting was, wasn't great, you know, he does he does uh, more often than not put it over the bar, so I think, other than Hattati, that's the starting mm. 11, I think. A lot of candidates for man of the match, as I say, five different goal scorers, Jota scores a screamer again, very similar to the one against Aberdeen, he's won man of the match every week so far this season, who's your man of the match today? We need to copy and paste, it's Jota every <laughs> week, it is, he's just so good today, brilliant again. I mean, the goal was special, I watched that 20 times tonight when I get home, I don't know how many yards he was out, but again, had a good view of that mm. goal as well, and... 25, 30 yards out, special, special goal, special player, he's just so comfortable on the ball, makes the right decisions, I mean he's a flamboyant player but he knows not to overdo it because all you do is upset the opposition and they're likely to get injured sooner rather than later, he knows when to demonstrate a little bit of trickery, when to pass, when to be selfish, um, he's just, he's getting better and better and better, he was a little bit inconsistent last year at mm, times, yeah. But this year so far, he's been absolutely brilliant every single game. And his man in match performance last year, uh, last week with three assists, I continued that into today's mm. game. And for me, he was man of the match again. He started like house on fire, hasn't he? Uh, he had a great chance for a second one right after his goal as well. Um, I'm going to give a special mention to Greg Taylor because I thought he was excellent again today. His quality is shining through now. A vital part in the first goal um, to play in Maeda down the left. But he's so up for the fight. And you see that in the first half um, in terms of setting the... The tempo, the intensity is pressing. I thought he was brilliant. He's been really he good was. recently, hasn't he? I don't know who got it because I've seen the two of them getting interviewed at the end of the game. I don't know who was handing the, the award over. So one of the two of them got it. Um, but yeah, Taylor was good. And, and he was probably the main whipping boy the mm. last couple of years. Taylor's not good enough. He's not good enough. We need to replace Taylor. Signed Ben and he can't get a look in. Can't get a look in. And he's been consistently good. Mm. And it just goes to show you've got good players around about you sometimes as well. You know, if you're having to make amends for it be somebody in front, in fact any position of the pitch it just puts more pressure on you, so it doesn't matter if it's the centre forward, the goalkeeper or somebody immediately next to you but I think now he's surrounded by good players it's brought the best out of Greg Taylor 